Hi, I'm Sarah Kramer, Zoo Camp Director here at the Oakland Zoo, and this is Tut, our gray-banded king snake. We have a ton of new and exciting things happening here, so why don't you hop on board the Outback Express Adventure Train with me, and we'll check it out. The Outback Express Adventure Train will take you on a journey through our new Wild Australia exhibit, where you can meet some animals from down under. Here we are in the Wild Australia exhibit at the Oakland Zoo with Keeper Love Song, and we have two animals in this exhibit, the wallaroos and the emus. First, can you tell us the difference between a wallaroo and a kangaroo? Wallaroos are actually very similar to kangaroos, but kangaroos are much bigger and wallaroos are a little bit smaller. Now, what's the difference between an emu and an ostrich? Well, ostriches are the largest bird, but they're found in Africa. Emus are the second largest bird, and they're found in Australia. Now the wallaroos and the emus get along with each other, but the train also comes through this exhibit. So how are the animals reacting to the train? They've actually become really accustomed to it, uh, so much that they may hang out on the tracks <laughs> and not move when the train comes. It gives the visitors a great view of the wallaroos. They'll uh, relax in the grass right next to the train. Emus, on the other hand, are rather curious of the train and sometimes a little too curious. The Oakland Zoo is very excited about our new baby wreathed hornbill. Because these birds have specialized habitat, diet, and nesting habits, it's very difficult to breed them in captivity. But our baby is out with his parents now. It's almost the same size. The only way to tell it apart is that it has blue eyes and it's missing the cask on the top of its beak. We won't know whether it's a boy or a girl until it turns about one year old and the pouch under its beak starts to change color. This summer, the Oakland Zoo got two new chimpanzees, and we're here with one of our keepers, Colleen, to learn a little bit more about them. How are our new chimps getting along with the five that we already had? Well, they are doing very well. We're seeing a lot of interesting social behavior, I and mean, chimps are a lot like us. That's great. Now, I know that you've been one of the big proponents of our new Quiet Coyote campaign That's here at the right. Oakland Zoo. And Quiet Coyote is a hand signal that we use to remind visitors to speak softly and move slowly around our animals. Um, how is that important, especially around the chimps? Anytime you're around wild animals, whether it's in a zoo or out in the forest, if you're um, very slow moving and speak very softly, you're going to see a lot more. Thank you, Colleen, for taking a minute you're to welcome. talk to us. Let's go learn about some other new things here at the Oakland Zoo. This is a new species for the Oakland Zoo, pancake tortoises. These guys can run really fast for a tortoise. They love salad, and if they were to land on their backs, they would be able to flip themselves over. We have three, and you can visit them in the Savannah Reptile Building. Here we are at the Sun Bear exhibit at the Oakland Zoo, and these bears are really interesting for a couple different reasons. Uh, one, they are the smallest species of bear in the world, uh, and two, they were the inspiration for Winnie the Pooh. Um, now, Love Song, can you tell us a little bit about um, the sun bears and their real life love of honey? Well, they are excellent climbers, and they'll use their claws to kind of just scale a tree, and in the wild, the bees would actually have their hive in the tree trunks. Now we have three sun bears here at the Oakland Zoo. They're all females, and one of them just moved here earlier this year. How's she getting along with the other girls? She's doing really well. She really enjoys the exhibit. She'll use the whole entire space. While these bears are doing really well here at the zoo, I know they are endangered in the wild. What are the main threats to sun bears? Uh, one of the big things is deforestation, and the biggest problem right now is the palm oil industry. Part of the deforestation is due to the palm oil industry. Um, they do need to clear cut the forest to plant these palm plants. And so one of the things that we can do is to buy items that have sustainable palm oil in it. These are only some of the 660 native and exotic animals we have here at the Oakland Zoo. Visit oaklandzoo.org to learn more about our animal exhibits, our conservation projects, upcoming special events, and to plan your visit. Stop by soon and see what's new at the Oakland Zoo.